Hello and welcome to another episode of the series that I am starting talking to our partners and getting their thoughts on what the industry means with sensor based monitoring. Today I am here at our partner retreat in Russell Kema and I have with me uh, Mr. Lucian who is from Clavin. Welcome Lucian. Hello, welcome. So if you nice can just uh, give a little introduction about Clavin and what, what, you, what the work that you are doing. Clavin is a company from Romania in Europe. We are uh, active regionally and we are uh, improving lives uh, every day of the citizen, infiltration, separation, purification. We help our customers to uh, raise their profit and be sustainable uh, in a circular economy. Fantastic. So I think a couple of projects that I think we have been working in for the order in uh, sewage treatment plants and wastewater treatment plants. How important is it and what do you think are the key parameters when you are monitoring that? It's very important because um, the wastewater treatment plant and the waste facilities uh, have uh, developed many years before. And now the, with the strong urbanization, the cities uh, and the, um, the people, uh, houses also uh, came around, the, they are surrounding practically yeah. these uh, waste facilities and wastewater treatment plant. So uh, odor control, uh, smell, um, it's very important. And wastewater treatment plant, um, are looking for uh, digitalization and for smart sensor intelligence solution in order to help them uh, programming their scheduling in such a way to continue their performance but also uh, creating comfort for the people around. Fantastic. So um, you've been using I think Odosense and the Equibot. Yeah. What has been your uh, your feedback on that or how do you think it easily integrates with the current ecosystem and what benefits are you getting from it? Besides of the uh, fast integration, uh, uh, some people, uh, some engineers are also pleased with the design. Yeah. Uh, they are very uh, satisfied with the application, uh, with the support and uh, with the data monitoring. Uh, very uh, easy integration with their systems yeah. and uh, also the possibility to provide them 24 uh, from 7 um, uh, data and information about how to improve their uh, operations. Great. So. What do you think is going to be the future of uh, odor monitoring, especially in, in these setups? Odor monitoring in Europe uh, become very, very important uh, uh, due to the reason I explained before. Yeah. And uh, it's already and will become more and more as a key factor for uh, quality of life. And uh, we believe that Clarin together with uh, Oizom, with uh, the range of products and uh, continuously improvement, will uh, play uh, a key role in uh, this comfort of uh, European citizens. Great. So your final thoughts on this event that we are having here in Russell Kema, this place, what do you think, how, how are you feeling about it? Uh, I do believe that with uh, 22 countries that uh, are present in your events, OISOM is not just um, a digitalization and a sense of company, it's a great ambassador for uh, the entire world um, making bridges uh, between the nations, yeah. culture, and also bringing together uh, some uh, uh, countries that uh, over the history they were not always together. Wow. So I think Oizom uh, it's much more than a, a, a simple sensor company. That is that is so great to hear this. And on this note, I thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you. I would love to know more about you, your culture, and, and of course Romania. But for now, thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. It was a pleasure for me and for my colleagues to be here and to look forward for a, a fruitful cooperation. Thank you. So this was uh, Lucian and uh, we had some wonderful discussions on this episode. Uh, we'd like to share more as we proceed and we'll have more guests on the show. For now, thank you so much. Have a good day.